once upon a time in a city made of gray. Jillian LeBlanc was living out her days. For 27 years, our Jill went through her humdrum life and rarely paused to question why she never felt quite right. Then one day, while walking home, she saw a something strange. Hey, Swamper! And little did she know that life was very soon to change. Forget it. She's hopeless. Dennis. Jillian. We waited long enough. You don't fit in here. You never have. You never will. There is nothing more that we can do for you. So it's time you knew the truth. You were adopted. You don't belong here. That was in the snowbank when we found you 23 years ago. God knows what it is. Gosh. Well, where the heck is Cloquet? So Jill LeBlanc set out at last to find her place of birth. She packed her bags and waved goodbye and bought a ticket north. Seems like all that was 
was right was actually wrong. I don't belong here. No, 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 I don't belong here. Oh, but if not here, oh, if not here, then where? You're not from around here, are you, little girl? No. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, I was hoping someone here could help. Do you know what the heck this is? It's a big buck contest of 1980. Jill followed close behind oh, and listened to the strange old lady racks. who told a tale of a hunting contest back in 1980. Fourth place was a man named Puck Christians. Convinced was Jill that on this list was the name of one who'd know. Beardman, I think. The secret Second or the answer to old Duke Dupont. her long awaited home. The winner? The winner? Yeah? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But. And I don't remember. But. Please. Get out of here, little girl. Go back to where you came from. Spelling it with a K. Yeah, you ought to try K. Hey, there it is. But who the heck are you? Oh, well, actually, I'm just on my way out to the big game down at the rink, and Pucky's there. You could come with if you want. Okay. Well, you're not really dressed for a game, silly Billy. You look like someone died. Let me get you something with a little bit of color in it. She handed Jill the purple hat, and with slight hesitation, Jill placed the hat upon her head and felt a tingling sensation. Jill, that was a heck of a story. You poor dear. 
here. Go Lumberjacks! Oh, I wish there was something I could do for you. I really do. Defense! Get the puck, you little... Oh. Oh, but Jill, we're not your parents. 1980. It's a sad year for us. And a low point for Pucky. A time he's not too proud of. See, he had won first place in the Big Buck Contest for four years in a row, 76 through 79. And it meant the world to him, the fame, the glory, the celebrity status. But in the fall of 1980, right before hunting season started, there was a tragic accident down here at the rink. Puck was on the ice, and the Zamboni driver, well, he never even saw poor Pucky Puck. first finger on his right hand. Yep, his trigger finger. He never hunted again. There he is. But, um, then how did he get a trophy? Oh yeah, that. Well, you know, like I said, he's not too proud of this. But he wanted to win that trophy so bad started driving the highways looking for roadkill. Finally, he found a dead buck with a heck of a rack. And he turned it in as if he'd shot it. Well, the judges found out a couple weeks later, took the trophy back and burnt it. Oh, darn it. Oh. game, you shouted, go Lumberjacks. What's that about? Well, that's our town mascot, silly Jilly. If you're from Cloquet, you're a Lumberjack. I'm a rip and roar at Lumberjack. I remember the man the sea. Hi, I'm ah, just in time to taste. Pepper. Is your name... Bear. Bear Beardman. I wish I could help you, Jill, but... Gene and I never had no kids. We loved children and always wanted them, but just wasn't in the cards for us, I guess. Who's Gene? The love of my life. We've been together since we were 16. High school sweethearts, you know. Oh, 1980. I was on the basketball team. We both sang in the choir. 
We never fought, except one time at a party when I caught Jean making out with someone else. Jean was my first kiss, and will be my last. The only one for me, till death do us part. You two sound like a super couple. Are you sure you're not my parents? Hi, I'm Jill. Hi, I'm Jean. Hey, Jill, you can't be wearing all that black in hunting season. Here, take this. Within a wink, the coat was on. Again, the tingly feeling. Jill looked around at this strange town and found it oddly appealing. Hey, do you guys know where I could find Dupe Dupont? He wasn't in the phone book. Oh, woe is Jill. Oh, sad, sad Jill. This was a wasted visit. It's time to go. To go, go, Jill. It's time to go. Or is it? Mr. Lumberjack, I need your help. I really thought coming here to this strange and wonderful place, I would finally find all the answers I've been looking for my whole life. But I haven't found any answers, and now I'm more confused and sad than ever. What am I going to do? What the heck am I going to do? <laughs> Don't cry, little lady. I know I'm just an old hoochie swamper, but you're behaving like a tie whacker without his robber stick. Now, I can tell by just looking at you that you're a four-up kind of a gal, not a two-upper. Don't let them muckety-mucks get to you. You're a skookum little gal, and don't ever let no flathead tell you different. In the words of old Squint Eye the Sizzler, the best things in life are like a string of flats. Best not delivered by the nosebag shows. Jill, but Gene and I never had no kids. It just wasn't 
wasn't in the car. I like to see the flash. Best not Hi, Whacker. John. Hello? Jill. Hello. Hey there. Where am I? How did I get here? Are you- It's a long, long story. Yep. Hey, why don't we sit down and have a string of flats while we talk? Mmm. This tastes different, but familiar. What is it? Well, they used to be your favorite food, Joe. They taste different because they're cooked in venison fat. Used to be? Jill, I'm Abby, and this is John. We're your mom and dad. Yep. The year was 1984. You were four years old. We were such a happy family. Well, one day, right before sunset, I shot one, an 18-pointer. We left you in the cabin and went to gut the thing. When we came back, you were gone. We searched for you, but you had just vanished. Your father and I never went deer hunting again. But we did cling to one little hope. When you wandered off, you took your favorite toy with you. It was a piece of broken antlers from the big buck contest I won in 1980. We always hoped that broken antler would lead you back to us. And now, it looks like it has. Gosh, but wait. How did I end up here? Ooh. I brought you here. Jill, meet your grandma. When I saw you the other day, I couldn't believe it. It'd been so many years, and we'd about given up on you. So I had to know that you were for real. I couldn't let my daughter's heart get broken again. So I followed you. It wasn't until late last night when I saw you go to the lumberjack for answers that I knew you were truly our Jill. You see, that lumberjack in that painting is your great-grandfather Milo, who helped found this town. And he only appears to family. So when I saw you talking to the lumberjack, I knew. And so our Jill has found her home and lives there this day still. No longer Jillian LeBlanc, her name is Lumber Jill. Won't someone help me 
I misplaced my home Seems like all that was right was actually wrong I don't belong here No, 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 I don't belong Oh, but if not here, oh.